Hello there YouTube, this is Necrostevo and it's time to go back in time for the week, uh, what week are we? This is week 7 um, of the LBA, finally getting a chance to battle Star. And I just wanted to do a really quick overview before we have this battle. Um, I and I came up with Assault Vest Mammal Swine. Of course he has access to good stuff like um, Mega Manectric, uh, Latias, to a lesser extent if he wants to have a Zelf. All those right there, I can take a hit from with my Mammal Swine and then um, retaliate back hopefully. Knockoff is going to remove some nice items and have good coverage. Ice Shard is really just because of the speed he has on his team. Um, Trick Room Aromatisse, Moonblast destroys most of his Pokemon outside of Caesar Talonflame. Uh, and then even for the other ones, we do have um, some nice coverage here. I actually ended up breeding some of these Pokemon in game. So uh, yeah, otherwise we're just gonna use the Ponyard to hopefully take advantage of the um, Manek trick and all that good stuff. Uh, the Intimidate rather. Uh, Agility uh, Swords Dance for Alligator just in case I get a chance to set up. Rocky Helmet, Sleep Talk, Garbodor, and a Black Belt Cobalion with Substitute. All that wonderful stuff. Um, so just seeing what he has right here, uh, I think that, hmm. So we basically brought what I expected him to bring. We're really gonna have to rely on our Garb Odor to take hits and I gotta try to keep it healthy and sleep talk when I can. He might start off with either the Talonflame or the Manectric just so we can get the Mega Evolution. Um, let's see here. I think our best lead honestly might be, ooh, this is gonna be a tough battle. All right, I think our, hmm. Hmm. This one's really tough here. Okay, so it's going to look like I'm going to have to somehow weaken that Azumarill. Then I can maybe sweep. Uh, my Ponyard actually does a large amount of work here between a Zelf, uh, Porygon, the Manectra giving me an Intimidate Defiant boost, the Latias being weak. I can deal with those three. I'm not really sure how I'm going to work with the other ones right here. Man, this is really... I think Pontiar might be the best lead here, overall. Because this is... man. Alright, so let, let's just leave with Pontiar to get some serious pressure going on here. Um, hmm. Alright, so at least we get to trap the Azelf right at the start. I feel like he's probably going to go straight for a flamethrower or something if he has it, or U-turn. Uh... Hmm. If he U-turns here, sucker uh, pursuit will be nice because I can trap him. He might be sashed. Um. Otherwise, knockoff is the clear play. He can kill me in one hit though, very easily because I don't have uh, Evie light. Even if I did have it, Azelf can use all sorts of fighting type coverage. Um. If he switches here though, the knockoff is going to do um good amount to anything. So I'm thinking knockoff will be the right play. Let's just try. He does stay in. We're just going to knock off him, take him down to that Focus Sash, which is fantastic. Uh, I think I can just go for a Sucker Punch here. I don't think he's going to want to try to save it. If he switches out, he's trapped anyway. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like he's just going to try to attack. He's got to know that I have Sucker Punch. But, uh, oh, we fail. As he goes for T-Wave, no, that is really bad. Okay. Well, that definitely we're going to want to go for a Pursuit here then. Because that means he might be switching out. Um, I'm still going to... Yeah, there we go. We got rid of the Azelf, which is nice. Man. Okay, so Azelf is down. Very, very nice here. I do need to make a note of what's happening here. Oh, well, that just blocked the whole screen. All right, so we have... Azelf KO'd by Ponyard. Right now, he's probably going to go into the Azumarill or the Manectra to get the Mega Evolution. Oops, I don't know why I said by Azumarill. KO'd by Ponyard. So that's nice, though. We do get another KO for our Ponyard. 
<sighs> I am having this battle right after work, so we're a little bit pooped, but Star actually was staying up until I think 4.30 in the morning. So, um, yeah, he definitely has the edge on me there. And right here, he can basically Flare Blitz for free. I could go into Sir Sludgely. Um... I'm thinking that might be the best play. He could also go for will o -Wisp predicting a switch. Uh, Sir Sludgely, of course, being Garbodor. Um, I'm thinking that might be the best play. I think he might even set up a Swords Dance, though, which would be pretty, pretty bad there. And I do, I, I really do want to keep Pontiard for Latias, but that might be a Latias that can set up with Calm Mine and all that stuff. And it's hard to do that while we're paralyzed, too. So, um, yeah, some, several annoyances overall right there. Uh, what is the best, I think right here, hmm, what is the best thing to do here? I could just go for another knockoff. Sucker Punch won't be outspeeding his Bray Burn anyway, and knockoff would hurt. If he goes for Flare Blitz, though, we go down without doing anything. Garbodor is a little bit more of a safe switch, and we'll get some chip damage in. I'm just going to try and knock off. Okay, he does Swords Dance. Hopefully this works. Yes, it does work. We do a nice amount of damage. Get rid of the leftovers. Fantastic. Okay. So I do see him maybe roosting up here. Uh, he also, he had leftovers, so he won't have Acrobatics. He will have Brave Bird. Um, it is really nice that Pontiar didn't get paralyzed right there. So... Hmm. Hmm, this is this is kind of tough here. I am thinking that he's just going to attack now. He's either going to attack now or just roost. If he roost here and I let's see, I can't really threaten him anymore. So I think it's time to switch to Garbodor, so This is, this is pretty tough here. I, I'm in some interesting 50-50s. If I switch out, then he might keep Swords Dancing up. Or if he attacks right now, which he really shouldn't, I'm thinking he's just going to Roost. Because if he attacks right now, he's going to uh, die to probably his own recoil. So I'm thinking he is definitely going to Roost right here. Alternatively, if I am expecting a Roost, I can go out into my... Um, I mean, Cobalion does have Stone Edge. Hmm... <sighs> I really don't want to risk Garbodor because of the Azumarill. So I think here I'm just going to go for another knockoff. Uh, yeah, because that'll still hurt him a good bit, I'd say. So yeah, let's just go for another knockoff. I get paralyzed anyway. Okay, well, I, I did go several turns without getting paralyzed, so that was bound to happen eventually. I think Brave Bird kills us, so so he, he did get up back up to full health. But at least we got rid of the leftovers, which is really, really nice here. Then I can go into Garbodor. He goes for another Swords Dance, which is, um, okay. I think he's just going to keep on doing this, this resting annoyance combination type dealio. Uh, with all that, well, even if he has that much attack, he can't play through my team. Mainly because of the investment I have between Aromatisse and, um, these three all having pretty high HP stats all together. So, he's not going to be able to plow through our team, but he definitely is going all in here on his, um, Man, I feel like I, I shouldn't alleviate any pressure, but I am worried about getting paralyzed. But I think he's waiting for me to get paralyzed again anyway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep on knocking off. I got paralyzed again. Crap. Yep, this is this is pretty bad here. Brave Bird definitely kills us from plus four. And this is where Archeops wouldn't have helped out here either because he just has so much attack. But he's going to take a good amount of recoil, which is decent. He doesn't have leftovers anymore, which is nice. Now I can go into, let's see, that, that Brave Bird, though, is going to do so much damage. Um, yeah, let's just head into Garbodor. And I have Rocky Helmet, so he'll take that damage, too. Um, wow, this is pretty bad here. I feel like I have to Gunk Shot. I don't think I can live the hit, honestly. Okay, he crits there, which is unfortunate. We get the Aftermath, we get the Rocky Helmet, and we almost take him out. Wow. Okay, well... Hmm. I don't know if I had a chance to live that or not, honestly. I guess I can calculate really fast, but I don't think it matters. I wasn't 
almost max um almost max defense there oh man i don't know if that mattered or not if he's since he has this the spread that he has he might have been i know he's not sharp b because i got rid of his leftovers so at plus i think i'm at 194 96 defense or yeah there we go so plus four no i didn't have a single chance to live that so that that sucks there Oh man, I don't know what to do here. That, that, I mean, I don't think the crit mattered, but at the same time, I really don't know what to do here at all. I feel like I need to have, once I take this thing down, then that means the way it's kind of opened up for Mammo Swine to do a good amount of damage to the team outside of the Azumarill. The Azumarill will require, I think, Cobalion to hit it at least once, really. If I can put up a Trick Room, I can hurt his whole team, but I really can't let Aromatisse down. So, I think that means that uh, my... I think Feraligator is going to be the most expendable. Man, this puts us in a really tough position here, because he can just Roost again. But at least I can force him into attacking, and I can just go for a Waterfall. Uh... Hmm. No, because if I go into if I go into my Feraligator, that'll lure Azumarill in, unfortunately. So I feel like I kind of need to go ahead and go into Cobalion. That way Azumarill can't just come in and I can go for, just go straight for, uh, that's so tough. Man, I don't really know what to do here. He was just waiting on me to get paralyzed, and now I really don't know what to do. Uh, we still I feel like I need Aromatisse, so let's go into... I'm gonna go for Cobalion. Because now if he goes into Azumarill, he'll take neutral damage from the Stone Edge. Um... Yeah, that's. I think that's my best. I can also sub here in case he tries to roost. So that might be a play too. So yeah, I'm just gonna sub here in case he tries to roost or switch out. Oh man, this this is, I'm not really sure how I'm going to come back from this, but I think my best chance is to keep Aromatisse and Mammoth Swine alive. He does just go straight for the attack. So finally Talonflame goes down, but at what freaking cost? Now I'm, I only have half of my team left, unfortunately. And I really wanted Sir Sludgely for the, uh, Azumarill there. Now since he we had a nice delicious double down there, I do figure he's gonna go into either Manectric or Latios just because those were his fastest options. Um, I can actually take on both of those relatively well with my Mammal Swine, but he might predict that and go into the Azumarill. I can't do anything with Feraligatr while Azumarill is around, unfortunately. Um, I also can't sweep with my Aromatisse while the uh, Porygon is around. Wow. Alrighty then. Well, I think I'm just going to go for Mammoth Swine just because I get solid neutral coverage. If he goes out to the zoom roll, then I guess I can go out to my Feraligator. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's just best here to go with that initial idea. He goes to the... Damn it all. Okay. Well, now I have to go into my Feraligator and take a play rough, probably. Because there's nothing I can do against it. He's probably just going to Aqua Jet. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do here, unfortunately. Play rough. Whirlpool. Oh, this is not, this is one of the Paris Song type Azumarils, I think. So I'm trapped now. He could easily switch out. I can't really hurt him, but I can go for Swords Dance here if he wants to go for Paris Song. Um, let's see what he does. Yep, he is going to go for Paris Song, so now he's probably going to protect, I imagine. Uh, of course, Whirlpool traps you into the battle, so you can't really do much without that. Those normally have dive, either dive or Whirlpool, protect or sub. He has protect, I, I'm guessing here, and Paris Song. Uh, so I could just go for another Swords Dance and try to take something out here. So he does protect, awesome. I can at least, I'm, I should be able to hurt him here. 
somewhat. Man, and now I'm just gonna go for a waterfall. I know I'm faster at least, this should hurt. Yeah, that does a good amount of damage. Good job there. Why did I take life or recoil? That's weird. Okay, there's a waterfall. My, we're both gonna fucking perish next turn. So, he's probably gonna switch out to the Latios or the Porygon, I imagine, so I'm gonna crunch now. I do hit the Latios, which is fantastic. Latios goes down, and I lose my Feraligator. The uh, Azumarill is at a critical amount of HP, so I can go into... Um, my mammal swine now I should be able to take on anything that he wants to do from this point because if he's that perish trap set then I should definitely um, be able to take any I should be able to outspeed it for one thing and I'm thinking uh, an adamant earthquake should take it out from this range unless he's just full on max defense investment he goes for protect here earthquake doesn't do anything of course um, he does get those stupid leftovers here uh, I'm just gonna keep on using Earthquake. Cause he's probably gonna go for the Whirlpool annoying shenanigans here again. He goes into Porygon. Okay, that's actually not bad. Cause I can knock it off and make it easier for my, um, Aromatisse to sweep in the end. So let's get rid of that Eviolite. He goes for Recover. I don't mind that at all necessarily. Uh, we're just gonna go for Earthquake again. There we go. Get some more. That Assault Vest should eat that up. Fantastic. Earthquake him some more. We're gonna try to pull this shit back right here. Uh, okay, so you take out the Porygon. And now that means that basically forces him in. If he goes into the, uh, yes, if he goes in this, he cannot KO us because we're Assault Vest. So he's gonna get the Intimidate, which is annoying, but the Flamethrower doesn't really do much at all. Earthquake wipes him out with the crit. Awesome. So now we're just up against the freaking Azumarill, I can hit this thing with an Earthquake. He's gonna protect again. I don't care, really. I think I, I think he may um, I think he may have choked this a little bit there, but I don't care just because of the whole crit paralysis annoyance type dealio. Um, I do need to get rid of his leftovers just in case here. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and switch right into Aromatis. I think he's gonna protect here. Um, he does protect awesome, so now I can go for just Thunderbolt. I think he's going to be more physically defensive, if anything. So Life Orb Thunderbolt is coming in here. And that should do it. That does do it. Thank goodness. Good grief. Alrighty then. That was a heck of a battle. <sighs> I don't even really know what to say about that one. Um, that was weird. That was a very weird battle. I've seen the Paris Trap Azumarill so many times. I think if he had regular Azumarill in this battle, then he probably would have had a good chance of winning. But since he had the Paris Trap version, it allowed Mamoswine to outspeed. And of course, we really needed that critical hit on Porygon to force it to recover. I don't know if it mattered that we got the, uh, the critical hit after that. But um, that was just a haxy battle overall so that was just weird and haxy and at least i got week seven done finally I, I i don't know i think if i were star i'd probably be kind of annoyed with the hacks but at the same time i feel like he was banking on hacks too whereas i was just trying to play with the best that i had so i i enjoyed the battle it was really really weird but that was definitely i think i think eon put it best there he said that was something so we're gonna sign off on that note Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch up with you fast forward in time to week 11 of the LBA here very soon. Have a good day.